Hello and welcome to the introductory video on Project Web Access. In this video, we'll look into what is a Project Web Access, what are the contents of the home page, and what are the services that are offered using Project Web Access on the Project Server 2007. To begin with, we'll launch the Internet Explorer and provide the server URL. This will be provided by your administrator of the Project Server 2007. In our case, it's HTTP colon forward slash slash EPM server slash PWA. The PWA part of the URL is the Project Web Access site that you're connecting to. And the EPM server is the server that's hosting this Project Web Access site. So one server can have multiple Project Web Access sites. In our case, we are connecting to the Project Web Access site PWA. You hit enter and by default in most of the cases if the signal sign-on is configured your login account would be used to authenticate against this project server in this case the XP client is not configured on the domain hence it's prompting us to provide the username and password to the project web access let's go ahead and provide the username and password in our case it's the domain name mbl backslash and we log in as the EPM admin account and I provide the password and I hit OK. As I'm browsing the Project Web Access the first time on this machine, I haven't configured any settings for the Internet Explorer. So if you're accessing your Project Web Access the first time, this is pretty much how it's going to look like. Okay, we have the home page loaded. On top of it, we have the home link. And if your project administrator has created any Project Web Access sites, they will be shown on the top link if it is configured to show. And on the top right, we have site actions. Now, this list will be populated with actions that you can perform based on your security settings. I'm logged into this Project Web Access system account, that's the EPM admin account. And this list will populate us the options that we can perform on the top right link. I can go to my settings and update my information that's configured on the site. This is generally picked up from the Active Directory configuration settings. I can sign in as a different user. I can sign out of the site and I can personalize this page to my likings. I can add or remove web parts based on the security that I have on the Project Web Access server. On the extreme left, I have the quick launch menu and I have my work, resources, projects, reporting, approvals, personal settings, server settings, and documents. As I'm logged into this instance as the EPM admin account, I pretty much have access to everything that the web access has to offer. This quick launch menu will be populated based on your access rights if you have access to view resources if you have access to view the data analysis so depending on your user rights on the product server the quick launch bar will populate your menu items and in the content part the first web part I have is the reminders web part as you can see in the content section of this page I have the reminders uh, web part where I have tasks, timesheets, approvals, status reports, issues and risks. And in the bottom, I have another web part for the project web access. And it gives me a list of all the projects that are published on the project server. We have two views here. One is the owned workspaces. Selecting that would populate all the projects that this EPM admin as user has posted on the project server. As you can see that we have I have just one project as the admin and the owner shows the EPM administrator and I have a small menu on the actions and go to items so this is just an overview of what the home page would look like let's move on and look into other configuration aspects as you can see in the bottom this side is being treated as the internet side okay so I need to make this side to the local internet or trusted sites because we do have a lot of ActiveX controls that come into play when you go into the resource center, project center, data analysis, and so on. So we need to make sure that 
this product web access site is either in the trusted or the local internet zones to do so let's go to the tools and go to internet options and under the security tab let me select the local internet I can have either local internet or trusted sites let's go with the option of local internet and click the sites go to advanced and if your server is configured to use the HTTPS protocol check the checkbox require server verification and go ahead and add in no case we're not using the server certificate so we just add without the HTTPS protocol verification and hit OK and OK and you can see that the site is now configured as the local internet sites so if we go to projects if we go to project center the grid is not shown because I haven't installed the ActiveX controller in it but before that let me go ahead and reconfigure the site as internet site let me take off the local internet sites I hit OK and this site's become an internet site and when I go back to project center again it would ask us to allow some ActiveX data objects to be run so if you have not configured the project web access site as either the local internet or trusted sites then you need to change the ActiveX settings on it so it's always good practice to have your project server in the local internet site I am adding this site back to the local internet and I hit refresh this time the ActiveX objects would run based on your security configuration for the local internet and for the project center this, this is the first time I am accessing the project center on this machine so when I'm accessing the project center the first time it will ask me to install a small ActiveX component and we have a link to download the ActiveX component and install I assume that you have the install access on your local machine so just go ahead and click here to download click install it would download the control and install the required ActiveX control it will automatically refresh and take you back to the project center and this time we would be shown a grid and a list of all the projects that have been published on the project server as you can see we have some projects categorized under marketing and under various quarters we'll talk about project center in detail but what I just wanted to show you that we need to install the small activities component to go ahead and look into the projects let me go ahead and log in to this home page as marketing manager the username is M manager and I provide the password and I hit OK so this time I'm logged in to the project web access as marketing manager this concludes our video on introduction to project web access in the next video we'll look into personal settings and what are the types of alerts and reminders that a user can have on his tasks and the status reports. I hope this video has been informative for you and thank you for watching.